Tesla gave us alternating current, our main electrical grid around the world. Electric motors, electric generators. The ideas of free energy. One of the greatest men that ever that changed the world for the better. In the annals of scientific history, there are geniuses, and then there is Nikola Tesla. He was a man whose brilliance knew no bounds, a wizard of electricity who harnessed the very forces of nature. Eastern Siberia and sent through the ionosphere a huge burst of energy to Tunguska, and that is where it exploded. But what if we told you that beyond the pages of history books and the bounds of conventional knowledge, Tesla had a secret side? A side where he ventured into uncharted territory, concealing inventions that could have changed the world as we know it. I have not been Westinghouse. My currents can be domesticated. Join us as we unlock the vault of Tesla's history, unveiling inventions that were so shocking and so revolutionary that they were hidden from the world for decades. Seismic Machine. In 1898, Tesla orchestrated an astonishing event that sent shockwaves, not only through the city of New York, but also through the annals of scientific history. Within the confines of his laboratory, he embarked on a daring experiment that would both amaze and terrify. The inventor's laboratory, a modest structure, trembled violently as if shaken by the very hand of nature herself. It teetered on the brink of collapse under the relentless force of the vibrations he had conjured. This was no ordinary experiment. Tesla was attempting to harmonize these vibrations with the very essence of the building that housed his laboratory. As the room convulsed, heavy machinery danced chaotically, defying the laws of gravity. Amidst the pandemonium, his quick thinking spared the laboratory from certain destruction. Armed with nothing but a humble hammer, he frantically smashed the generator, halting the cataclysmic oscillations. He realized that the structure was perilously ill-equipped to endure such an assault from nature's orchestra. This audacious experiment, however, had an unintended consequence. It beckoned the attention of law enforcement and emergency services to the scene. At that moment, he chose to remain silent about the true cause of the upheaval, allowing an air of mystery to enshroud the event. This tumultuous episode catalyzed his ambitious vision, the Telugu Dynamic Generator. Inspired by the seismic drama he had inadvertently created, Tesla envisioned a machine that could plumb the depths of the Earth's geological secrets. It would serve as a beacon, guiding scientists to hidden mineral deposits and ores concealed beneath the Earth's surface. Regrettably, Tesla himself was unable to bring his seismic dreams to fruition, but his ideas left an indelible mark on the world of science. Today, modern scientists and engineers draw inspiration from the principles that he committed to paper, furthering our understanding of the Earth's mysteries. In a bid to bring about a lasting era of global peace, he didn't stop at seismic experiments. He unveiled his revolutionary concept to the New York world, one that hinged on the remarkable power of wireless telegraphy. His vision? The ability to detonate potent explosives beneath the sea, creating titanic tidal waves capable of capsizing entire enemy fleets. Newspapers at the time reported with awe that Tesla's artificial tidal waves could render even the mightiest naval forces as helpless as paper boats adrift on a child's whim. With conviction, Tesla asserted that his invention could usher in an age of universal peace, inching humanity closer to a world without war. Wardenclyffe Tower After returning to New York from Colorado, Tesla published an exciting article in Century Magazine. In this article, he explained a method for harnessing solar energy using an antenna. According to his vision, this breakthrough could lead to weather control and worldwide wireless communication. The influential American banker, J.P. Morgan, became interested in his technology. In a personal meeting, Tesla elaborated on the remarkable potential of wireless communication, including the instantaneous transmission of photographs and letters across the globe. He envisioned that his technology could transform the Earth into a vast, interconnected network, like a colossal brain. 
Without a doubt, Morgan found this idea intriguing. He offered him $150,000 to build the transmitting tower and the associated power station. Tesla recognized that this amount might not be sufficient for his ambitious project, but decided not to jeopardize such significant financial support. He accepted the offer and commenced work on the construction of the Warden Cliff Tower. Banker James Warden generously provided 81 hectares of land on the cliffs overlooking Long Island Sound for this project. In honor of his contribution, the tower was named Warden Cliff. Warden Cliff was planned to be erected to a height of 57 meters to support a 55-ton steel sphere at its pinnacle. Beneath the tower, at a depth of 36.5 meters, there existed a shaft. 16 iron pipes were laid at a depth of 120 meters to permit electrical currents to pass through them and interact with the Earth. Tesla clarified that based on his calculations, this system was intended to harness the Earth's energy and make it resonate. However, the funds allocated for the project proved to be insufficient to complete the construction of the tower. He approached J.P. Morgan for additional funding, but Morgan began to doubt the inventor's chances of success and hesitated to provide a positive response. Meanwhile, on December 12, 1901, Sensational news broke that Guglielmo Marconi had successfully transmitted a radio signal across the Atlantic Ocean. Tesla was not surprised by this achievement and accused Marconi of utilizing 17 of his patents to accomplish the transmission. However, Morgan regarded Tesla as a fraud and declined to offer further financial support, arguing that Marconi's system not only functioned, but was also cost-effective. Despite Tesla's attempts to persuade Morgan, they had no impact. Additionally, during this same period, the stock market crashed and the cost of materials for the tower doubled. The combination of high costs and a lack of financial backing led to the project's closure, and it never materialized. In 1917, U.S. authorities decided to demolish the distinctive structure. However, the tower proved to be so robust that it could only be brought down through an explosion. Following this significant setback, Tesla experienced a severe nervous breakdown and took an extended period to recover. Reflecting on the collapse of his idea, he stated, It is not a dream, it is a simple feat of scientific electrical engineering, only costly. Wireless Energy In the late 1890s, the brilliant inventor had a captivating idea. He believed that when you climb to high altitudes, where the air is thinner, you could send electrical energy through the air without needing any pesky wires. Imagine energy flowing through the sky. Tesla was fascinated by this concept and was determined to prove it could work. But like any big dream, he needed financial support. His idea didn't go unnoticed. His good friend, Leonard E. Curtis, and a wealthy man named Colonel John Jacob Astor were intrigued. They decided to invest a substantial $30,000 in his experiment. With their support, Tesla embarked on an electrifying journey. On May 1899, he and his team packed their bags and headed to Colorado. They chose a location near the majestic Pikes Peak for their experimental station. He wasn't just a scientist, he was also a showman. To grab public attention, he tantalized journalists with the promise of sending a radio signal from Pikes Peak to Paris. He left them curious about the how, though. As he delved into his scientific exploration in Colorado, he stumbled upon a mind-blowing revelation. He realized that when lightning struck the Earth, it sent powerful waves racing from one side of our planet to the other. This made him wonder, what if the Earth acted like a giant conductor? Could he send limitless energy to any corner of the world? To test this revolutionary theory, he needed to accomplish something unprecedented. He aimed to generate electrical waves as potent as lightning itself. This audacious quest would mark a pivotal moment in the history of science and technology. He was on the verge of something truly electrifying. The shocking experiment in Colorado. Tesla's laboratory in Colorado was truly a marvel of its time. It stood like a technological wonder with its roof that could slide open, revealing the sky above. Rising high above the lab was a towering wooden structure, reaching up to 27 meters into the air. This tower had a critical purpose. It was a safeguard against fire. Now perched at the top of this wooden sentinel was a colossal metal mass, a structure that stretched up to 43 meters. 
this metal giant cradled a hefty copper sphere within its grasp. The entire setup resembled something from a science fiction tale, but it was the brainchild of Tesla, a pioneer of electrical innovation. Deep within the wooden tower, hidden from plain sight, was the pièce de résistance, a gigantic Tesla coil. This coil had a special mission to channel potent electric impulses vertically into the Earth. It was like a lightning conductor, but engineered by Tesla himself. Every piece of equipment was meticulously inspected on the day of the grand experiment. Tesla, the mastermind behind it all, gave strict orders to his chief mechanic. He was to throw the switch for a mere second, a brief but crucial moment. As the switch was thrown, the secondary coil sprang to life. It sparked and crackled with energy, enveloped in a mesmerizing and somewhat weird blue electric arc. Tesla, the mad scientist of his era, was satisfied with the initial result. But he wasn't done. He ordered the mechanic to close the switch once more. In an instant, colossal blue arcs of electricity surged up and down the central coil. Flashes of artificial lightning, each one over 30 meters in length, danced and leapt from the mast atop the station. However, as the experiment reached its peak, a mishap occurred. The dynamo machine at the El Paso Electric Company, connected to Tesla's audacious creation, couldn't withstand the immense power surging through it. It burned out, plunging the entire town into darkness. The manager of the power station was livid. He demanded that Tesla repair the damage and compensate for the losses incurred due to the electrical catastrophe. This incident would go down in history as one of Tesla's grand but somewhat tumultuous experiments. Radio-Controlled Boat In the year 1898, Tesla introduced the world to a groundbreaking creation at the Electrical Exposition held in Madison Square Garden. It was a time when science and innovation were captivating the imagination of many. With confidence, he demonstrated his first working model of a radio-controlled robot, which just happened to be in the shape of a boat. The audience, filled with astonishment, watched as this boat moved about without any physical wires connecting it to a controller. This was the birth of robotics as we know it today. Tesla's radio-controlled ship was no ordinary vessel. It navigated through the water with an air of grace, and it left the audience in awe. Some spectators, perhaps caught in the fervor of the moment, speculated that Tesla was controlling the boat with the sheer power of his mind. But in reality, he was transmitting signals to the boat using a small box equipped with control levers. This incredible invention was patented by Tesla under U.S. Patent Number 613809-DEEK. It described the world's first device capable of wireless remote control, powered by its built-in battery. Tesla didn't stop at boats. He saw the potential of his invention extending to all kinds of vehicles and mechanisms, envisioning a future where a handful of individuals could control a fleet of a hundred ships or any other vehicles from a distance. However, not everyone understood his vision. Journalists of the time, always looking for sensational stories, asked if Tesla's invention could be used for military purposes, submerging boats and autonomously transporting weapons. Tesla, a man with a strong aversion to war, was disheartened by this line of questioning. He clarified that his technology aimed to make life easier for humanity, with robots taking on the most laborious tasks. Sadly, his invention was far ahead of its time. The people who witnessed it couldn't fully grasp its practical applications, but history would later show that his vision laid the foundation for the amazing world of robotics and remote control we live in today. Images of Thoughts the brilliant inventor embarked on a quest that would boggle the minds of his contemporaries and leave a legacy of wonder for generations to come. In 1893, during his pioneering experiments, Tesla stumbled upon a notion as revolutionary as it was audacious. The idea that a person's very thoughts could be captured on film. Decades passed, but his visionary concept continued to simmer in the recesses of his inventive mind. In an interview with a newspaper reporter, he unveiled his captivating belief that the thoughts we conjure in our minds could paint pictures on the canvas of our retinas. What's more, Tesla envisioned a remarkable contraption, a marvel of technology, which he called the artificial retina. This ingenious device, he postulated, would be capable of capturing and recording the mental images formed through our reflex actions. His vision didn't stop there. 
He dreamt of a world where these recorded mental images could be reflected onto a tangible canvas, akin to a photograph. Imagine your innermost thoughts and dreams, once confined to the mysterious realm of the mind, now manifesting as visual marvels. With his pioneering spirit, he intended to not only capture these mental landscapes, but also to project them onto a grand screen for all to behold. Had he succeeded in breathing life into this audacious dream, the implications would have been nothing short of astonishing. Objects that existed only in the realm of one's imagination could be brought to life on that grand screen. Every fleeting notion, every vivid daydream, and every silent contemplation would become a vibrant spectacle for the world to witness. In Tesla's world, the human mind, once enigmatic and hidden, would become an open book, its pages filled with the kaleidoscope of thoughts, dreams, and visions of every individual. Supersonic airships powered by wireless electricity. In 1919, Tesla envisioned a remarkable concept, supersonic airships. These weren't your ordinary blimps. They were futuristic flying machines powered entirely by wireless electricity transmitted from ground towers. His vision was nothing short of extraordinary. Imagine this supersonic dirigible soaring to heights exceeding 10 kilometers above the Earth's surface. It was a marvel that could achieve mind-boggling speeds of 1,000 miles per hour. In practical terms, this meant you could hop on a flight from New York and touch down in London in just 3.5 hours. That's faster than a modern-day transatlantic flight. His groundbreaking ideas weren't merely idle musings. He eagerly shared his vision in an article published in the July issue of the Reconstruction magazine in 1919. He explained his relentless work on developing these supersonic dirigibles, emphasizing one crucial point. Their power source was virtually boundless. The dirigible could draw its energy from a multitude of power plants, much like how our modern trains run on rails, tapping into an almost infinite supply of electricity. In essence, Tesla's concept was ahead of its time, but it was grounded in real-world possibilities. Sadly, in the early 20th century, his grand idea seemed too fantastical for people to embrace. Cosmic radio waves and extraterrestrial signals. In his remarkable laboratory experiments in the high-altitude haven of Colorado Springs, Tesla delved into extraordinary investigations that pushed the boundaries of our understanding. Among his many pursuits, one truly stood out. He sought to prove that the ionosphere, a part of our Earth's upper atmosphere, could be harnessed as a conductor for radio waves. Within the confines of his laboratory, he achieved a significant breakthrough. He not only successfully received, but also recorded cosmic radio waves on his incredibly sensitive instruments. It was here that he first began to glimpse the vast cosmic symphony. Tesla became convinced that his theory was spot on, and he boldly claimed to have detected radio signals from extraterrestrial sources. However, the world at that time was not ready to embrace Tesla's audacious claims. The scientific community remained skeptical, primarily because the knowledge of cosmic radio signals was still in its infancy. These enigmatic signals were not yet part of our scientific lexicon. Fast forward to today, and the tables have turned. Our observatories and laboratories scattered across the globe have been registering cosmic radio waves for several decades. These subtle yet highly penetrating waves have frequencies that range from 1610.6 to 1613.8 megahertz. They typically emanate from cosmic materials with temperatures above absolute zero, a chilly minus 273.15 degrees Celsius, What's truly fascinating is that we now comprehend the origins of these signals. They originate from the hydroxyl molecules found in the ethereal clouds of interstellar gas and the expansive envelopes of red giant stars. This newfound knowledge has unveiled the cosmic orchestra that Tesla hinted at. Additionally, his insights regarding the ionosphere have also been vindicated. Scientists now firmly acknowledge that the ionosphere indeed serves as a remarkable conductor of radio waves, just as he had boldly asserted. His pioneering work, once met with skepticism, has now become a cornerstone of our understanding of the cosmos. His vision, ahead of its time, has found its place in the annals of scientific history. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. 
Did Tesla, the master of electricity, indeed give birth to the world's first human robot entity? The responses to this query emerge subtly from the enigmatic abyss. Behold here an exclusive image, an uncommon glimpse into this mysterious realm, which unveils what is believed to be Tesla's pioneering creation of a human robot amalgamation. As you contemplate this remarkable artifact, consider this. What other marvels might this visionary inventor have enshrouded in secrecy? What astonishing discoveries await beneath the surface of his concealed repository? With each revelation, the enigma surrounding Tesla deepens, challenging our comprehension of innovation and what could potentially have remained hidden in the annals of history. Let us know what you think about what we just showed you. The Tesla Teleforce From the days of his youth, Tesla's father sowed within him a deep aversion to the horrors of war. This influence steered the brilliant inventor's mind towards finding innovative ways to swiftly neutralize enemy forces in the grim event of conflict. One day, his fertile mind birthed a concept that would become one of his most legendary and controversial inventions, the Teleforce. On a historic day, July 11, 1934, Tesla unveiled this revolutionary idea to the world through an electrifying article in the New York Times. In his own words, this invention had the power to obliterate as many as 10,000 soldiers from a jaw-dropping distance of 400 kilometers. The mechanics of this extraordinary device were rooted in the use of ionized metal beams hurtling through the air at an astonishing speed of nearly half a million kilometers per hour. These beams packed an awe-inspiring punch, boasting a staggering 100 billion watts of power, ensuring the immediate annihilation of any adversary. It's often mischaracterized as the death ray, but he was adamant that his brainchild had nothing to do with such a notion. In his eyes, beams couldn't be produced in the required quantities, and their potency faded rapidly over distance. His vision revolved around particles, not beams. Yet Tesla knew that transforming this vision into reality required substantial financial backing. He initially turned to the wealthy American magnate John Pierpont Morgan, who had previously supported his ventures. However, due to past disputes, Morgan declined to fund this ambitious project. Tesla even attempted to engage British Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain, but his proposal fell on deaf ears. Undaunted, Tesla cast his net wider, approaching leaders in various countries, including the United States, Canada, England, France, and the USSR, all in pursuit of a more peaceful world. To prove the seriousness of his endeavor, he dispatched a meticulously crafted scientific document titled The New Art of Projecting Concentrated Non-Dispersive Energy Through Natural Media. In this work, he detailed a vacuum tube innovation, utilizing an open end and gas ceiling to release charged particles at millions of volts. These particles could then be harnessed to create non-dispersive streams, guided by the principles of electrostatic repulsion. The Soviet authorities in particular recognized the gravity of Tesla's ideas. They engaged through the Soviet arms front in New York, offering Tesla $25,000 for a comprehensive understanding of his method and apparatus. Although it remains shrouded in mystery whether a physical device was handed over, there exists sufficient documentation and project blueprints as envisioned by Tesla himself. These form the basis for a Teleforce prototype, an undertaking spearheaded by a group of scientists from the University of Adelaide. Who knows what the future might hold? Perhaps one day the world will witness the emergence of a cutting-edge weapon capable of putting an end to global conflicts, and it might owe its origins to the visionary mind of Tesla. Ozone Generator in 1903, Tesla faced a moment of despair. J.P. Morgan, the financier he had relied upon for support, had turned his back on his inventions. He knew he had to rebuild his reputation, and he confided in Morgan about a groundbreaking commercial device that would change the world. In 1906, Tesla took matters into his own hands and established the Tesla Ozone Company. He also secured the first patent for a portable ozone generator in the United States. Now, you might wonder, what's the big deal about ozone? Well, back in the early 1900s, people were deeply concerned about the thick, harmful smoke caused by the massive coal consumption. They believed this pollution was giving rise to new diseases. 
Urban residents felt trapped by the polluted air outside their homes, so they sought ways to clean the air indoors. This is where his invention enters the stage. His ozone generator was designed to purify the air within enclosed spaces. It was a game changer, or so it seemed at the time. Tesla's device was meant to infuse the air with antiseptic properties, offering a breath of fresh, clean air to city dwellers. However, as time went on, it became clear that Tesla's device didn't quite live up to its promises. It turned out that ozone could be harmful when used indoors. While ozone high up in the atmosphere protects us from harmful solar ultraviolet radiation, it can pose health risks in confined spaces. Fast forward to today, and similar ozone generators are prohibited for widespread use in the U.S. They're only allowed for purposes like water sterilization and specific equipment. Yet there are still those who peddle ozone therapy as a cure for serious diseases like cancer and AIDS, despite the scientific community's reservations. Flying Apparatus In the year 1913, Tesla made a bold declaration to the world. He told the public that one day they would witness him soaring through the sky, traveling from New York to the beautiful landscapes of Colorado Springs. This statement was made just after the historic first flight by the Wright brothers, a time when many great minds, including the likes of Einstein and Edison, were fervently exploring the possibilities of creating their flying machines. As the early 20th century unfolded, an era filled with imagination and experimentation, numerous inventors were busy sketching out eccentric designs for flying contraptions. Among them, Tesla, the visionary, stood out. Fast forward to the year 1928, when Tesla, at the remarkable age of 72, received his final patent, a document that bore the title, Aerial Transportation. His flying apparatus was nothing short of ingenious, it resembled a blend of a helicopter and an aeroplane, a marvel of engineering. In his detailed project description, he illustrated an open-box type craft equipped with a tilting propeller and wings. According to Tesla's plans, this flying wonder was expected to weigh around 363 kilograms. What truly set his invention apart was its versatility. This incredible machine could take off from practically anywhere, whether it be from a garage or the rooftop of a building. Tesla envisioned making this marvel accessible to the masses, intending to price it at a modest $1,000, no matter the purpose for which it was acquired. In hindsight, Tesla's invention can be seen as a precursor to the modern tilt-rotor aircraft and vertical short takeoff and landing aeroplanes. It was a concept ahead of its time, showcasing Tesla's unwavering commitment to pushing the boundaries of what was possible. Regrettably, despite his genius, Tesla faced financial constraints that prevented him from turning this dream into reality. He never had the opportunity to embark on his epic journey from the bustling city of New York to the serene beauty of Colorado Springs through the open skies. Nevertheless, his vision and innovation have left an indelible mark on the history of aviation, inspiring future generations to reach for the skies with their creations. The Missing Death Ray Schematics in the wake of Tesla's passing in 1943, a captivating legend unfurled. It was said that some of his remarkable scientific works vanished mysteriously. These weren't just any documents. They were the coveted blueprints for an enhanced version of the Teleforce, famously known as the Death Ray. On the morning following Tesla's death, his nephew, Saba Kosanovich, who held an official position in Yugoslavia, hastened to his uncle's hotel room at the renowned New Yorker. Upon careful inspection, a disquieting revelation came to light. Certain technical documents and a mysterious black notebook, zealously safeguarded by Tesla, had vanished from the safe. This enigmatic disappearance prompted the involvement of Assistant Director Peter Foxworth from the New York FBI office. The U.S. government, keenly interested in preserving Tesla's invaluable documents, decided to take swift action. All of Tesla's belongings were confiscated for thorough scrutiny. To decode the contents of the recovered documents, they summoned Dr. John Trump, an electrical engineer with the National Defense Research Committee of the Office of Scientific Research and Development. Dr. Trump embarked on a meticulous examination, unveiling the essence of Tesla's work from the past 15 years. What he found was nothing short of captivating. Tesla's writings, it seemed, had taken a speculative and philosophical turn, often tinged with promotional flair. 
They delved into ideas related to the production of wireless energy and advanced transportation, reflecting a visionary mind's musings. As World War II came to an end, the concept of the beam weapon that had intrigued Tesla was reignited. Copies of his documents were dispatched to the Patterson Air Force Base for a comprehensive evaluation of the inventor's visionary concept. However, the results of these experiments, shrouded in secrecy, never saw the light of day, leaving the world to wonder about the true extent of Tesla's brilliance. In 1952, all the remaining documents and papers that belonged to Tesla were brought back to Belgrade. Afterwards, a museum was established in his honor. For several years, scientists from Western countries encountered difficulties when trying to access most of the inventor's written records. However, this restriction didn't apply to Soviet scientists, who were permitted to access these materials as part of their delegations in the 1950s. In 1960, Nikita Khrushchev, who served as the General Secretary of the CPSU Central Committee, announced the Supreme Soviet. He revealed that a new and revolutionary weapon was currently under development in the Soviet Union. This disclosure created shockwaves worldwide, leading many scientists to speculate that Khrushchev had obtained access to the actual project linked to the development of what was commonly referred to as the Teleforce. At the same time, the United States continued its efforts to develop beam weapons. Did his secrets vanish with the scientist? In 1958, the Advanced Research Projects Agency initiated a highly classified project to create a weapon using particle beams. Due to the substantial financial and time investments, the project was eventually abandoned. American scientists officially disavowed any knowledge of Tesla's documents in the late 1970s. By 1983, there were suspicions that a large-scale beam weapon production facility was being built near the Sino-Soviet border. In that year, President Ronald Reagan introduced what became known as the Strategic Defense Initiative. He called upon American scientists to utilize their immense talents for the cause of global peace, urging them to develop a comprehensive missile defense system that could incorporate space-based components. Despite over half a century of research and billions of dollars invested, the program is still regarded as a failure. It never succeeded in creating effective means of defending against missile attacks. For many years, scientists have been unable to locate Tesla's missing documents. It is entirely possible that if Tesla possessed the knowledge of accurately predicting destructive energy beams through the atmosphere, that knowledge may have resided solely within his mind. Which of Tesla's inventions did you find the most intriguing? Let us know in the comments.